Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, and today I'm going to bring you CC Cycle 1, Week 13, New Grammar and Review Ideas. I like to have my foundations guide close by while I present New Grammar, and I just take a pencil and kind of mark what different activities or um, chants or hand motions we're going to do with each subject, and that helps me a lot. So, um, we just start with geography, and I use... Um, Trifold, geography trifolds from CC user Capel to kind of help me make sure I remember where all the points on the map are. So they have their black and white maps out and we we uh, say and tell and point. They repeat after me the names and we'll point to each one. And since we're doing Western Africa today, I found these uh, wild animals at the Dollar Tree. And so they each got uh, their most of them are African animals, so we uh, each got an animal and it hopped from place to place as we recited the geography memory work. And that went over really well. Uh, for math, we did a chant. I have uh, these up here. I laminated these. I found this printout. I can't remember if I found it on Facebook or on CC Connected. Um, but it's just pictures of each um part of the liquid equivalents and I laminated them. I used them last year and everybody loved Mr. Gallon. So I did that again this year. Um, so we chanted it. We did eight fluid ounces equals one cup, two cups equals one pint, two pints equals one quart, four quarts equals one gallon. So we went through that several times and then I erased this side of the equation and I took down these parts and so um, I had them tell me, okay, what does it equal? So I would have, you know, the one cup erased and I would take the cup down. So they have to tell me eight fluid ounces equals one cup. And then I'd stick the cup back up there. Um, so I just had them help me match up the liquid equivalents. So that was fun. Uh, for English, we did um, our action sticks for our compound prepositions. So I just take popsicle sticks and with the Sharpie, I put actions or silly voices like we pat our heads or rub our bellies or we hop or we use a quiet voice or a loud voice or a squeaky voice so each student picks a stick and we um, they take turns reading what the stick says and we do that action or voice while we read through the prepositions and then we go to the next student and do their action or silly voice with the memory work for science for what are some parts of the geosphere, I have this handout from CC user Capel, the science trifold, to kind of show them, okay, we're learning the parts and layers of the earth, and then the atmosphere is talking about the air, the hydrosphere is talking about the water, and the biosphere is talking about the life that's on our planet. So I just had a little extra time and just kind of threw that description in there. We did hand motions for science. We did core, mantle, crest, hydrosphere, biosphere, atmosphere. So core, mantle, crest, hydrosphere, biosphere, atmosphere. And then for history, we also did some hand motions for that one. We listened to the song and I read through it and had them repeat after me. And we did some hand motions. We did the kush, so make a K. So it's just a V with your thumb inside. So the Kush mined gold or shoveling along the Nile River from 2000 BC to AD 350. And the Berbers, so make two Bs, traded gold, iron, and salt in the desert. So those are the hand motions we did for history. And then for Latin, our noun cases, since this is we're going back to what we learned in week one for cycle one. Um, since they've already heard this a couple times before, I want to do something a little different. So I got these little eyes, finger rings. I think I got these at Target, or I think I've seen them at the Dollar Tree too. But they just put it on their finger and we made little mouths. And we chanted through the Latin noun cases. And then for timeline, I did our find the dot um, they like doing that. So I'll take um, about four of the cards. I can show you. 
score the cards in, in random order and I'll use a dry erase marker to either make a dot or a star. And so I'll call on a student and they'll um, pick a card down and they'll see if it has a dot. And they'll go, yay, if we have a dot. Or we'll go, oh, if we don't have a dot. Um, and then we'll sing through the timeline without that card in the lineup. So once we sing through it, I'll call on another student and they'll pick a card down and see if we get a dot for that one. And then we'll sing through it with two cards missing. And eventually we're going to sing through it with all the cards down. And they do a really good job with that. And then at the end, I had them help me put them all back in order. So I say, okay, who has Age of Exploration? And then, okay, well, what comes next? And Prince Henry. Um, so they just helped me put it back in order like that. And I think I covered it all. I did this video once before and realized I forgot math. So I think I have all the subjects. And for review, I um, saw this and I uh, got this idea from another tutor. These are Superman exercise flashcards. And I got them off of Amazon uh, last year. And let's open it and show you. It's just like a deck of cards and it has um, different exercises on it. Let's show you. This one's called the two step. So it shows you kind of a picture of what you do and it has a description of what you do. So I kind of looked through the deck ahead of time and picked a number of them that I felt like everyone could do and would be pretty fun. Um, there's all kinds of ones in here, uh, but I didn't want a bunch that were like where we're down on the floor. So I got just some that I thought we could do and I laid them all face down and the students took turns picking uh, a Superman card and we would do that action uh, for some of the memory work. So I would pick a subject and we would do like three weeks of that subject while doing that particular exercise. And then it would be another student's turn. They pick a card and we do a different subject with like three, three weeks of that subject. So we got through quite a bit of memory work that way. Um, I got a little excited at the end, so we kind of sat down for it for the very end. But we got through all six weeks of review with the seventh week of uh, this current week. So it was a really good way for us to get through review and um, it's been cold outside. So having that exercise indoors um, was really helpful. So I'll probably use those uh, Superman cards again. So I hope that was helpful and we're excited to be in a new semester of CC and I'll talk to you guys soon.